another thing you can look at is session subsidy. You can come to your session subsidy and see a complete breakdown of how much was paid per day um, for that particular week. So you'll basically just choose your date range, choose a particular child or, or children, and you'll be able to see um, basically the reporting period, how much fee was charged by the center, the hours that the child was in care, what the entitlement was, what, what the entitlement amount was based on Centrelink, what the subsidized hours were um, back then with the preschool um, hours that would come up here as well. You can see the sessions and entitlements, and in these sessions and entitlements, it will tell you different things like who got paid CCS. So sometimes the parents actually collect the CCS, not the center, and you'll be able to see it there. Um, it will say uh, individual once again, so it will say the amount, and it will say recipient individual. And then what you can also see from there is reasons why CCS may not have been paid in full. Uh, it might be like the hours were exhausted. They might have like, exhausted the activity test. It could have been because you know sessions were um, sessions were withdrawn uh, for many different reasons, and you'll see the reason there as well. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That these reports over here really work hand in hand when trying to find out why something isn't going the way it is. And if you've been on the phone with us or email, you'll see that sort of, you know, the sort of train of thought that we run. Uh, you know, we might come to session subsidy. We might also, when I get to um, the next section, which is submitting our sessions, we'll go to session report to see what's been submitted. And you sort of just look at each one to sort of get a clear understanding of what's happened, you know. Um, if entitlements have changed, obviously that affects their CCS, which then affects their accounts, et cetera, right? And the last thing I want to just let you guys know, Comes up, comes in on billing as well um, with the payments. So you can come here on, bit, on the payments, keeping in mind that CCS pay you this week for last week's um, sessions. So you would filter by this week to be able to see the reporting 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 period of last week. Okay. So basically, it goes by payment date. You'll be able to filter the days and see all your payments for the CCS. That does it on a weekly basis, and you can use the payments report and session subsidy to see the breakdown if you wanted to of a particular child 